most all ecosystems have suffered some degree of alteration. Um, this particular um, system, as with most uh, uh, wetland systems, um, highly desired because of their productivity, their situation, um, had effectively been uh, dammed off at the mouth with respect to tidal flushing. Uh, that's a result of human activity. That's a result of mismanagement of watershed to the east, um, where we just simply didn't get fre fresh water flooding that occurs in the winter that would blow these lagoons out to the ocean and keep that mouth open. Um, that's a fairly common occurrence. Um, and as a result, this lagoon had gone from um, <clears throat> housing a, a, a fair portion of water a goodly uh, chunk of mud flats, which as I said earlier, is the place of productivity, is the site of the incredible biodiversity that we find in these uh, wetlands. It had gone from an alternate wet dry system um, to increasingly uh, being sedimented up, especially to the eastern uh, portion of the basin toward El Camino Real. With the windfall of the 55, 57 million dollars, uh, from the mitigation effort with Port of Los Angeles. Um, we've now dredged this district, we've opened up the jetty, we've brought tidal flow back into the lagoon, as you can see. But with that, um, there um, obviously has been an increase in open water view, uh, but a decrease in mudflat availability, which is, again, where the productivity and diversity is, uh, and that's the district that recruits in uh, especially migratory birds that use these lagoons as stopovers to refuel in their southern migrations, in their northern migrations. Uh, by limiting the amount of mudflat to shorebirds, um, we have um, obviously uh, limited you know, that portion of uh, the usefulness of this lagoon uh, to another portion which would be the stuff of open water, which um, is likely, though maybe not supporting the diversity of birds, is probably supporting the diversity of offshore fisheries, which use these lagoons as nurseries uh, to support those offshore fisheries, which of course have important uh, commercial um, implications as well. So um, from an ecological perspective, with a $55 million uh, windfall, I could look at this and say, on one hand, maybe we've reduced the diversity of this lagoon. My research um, seems to indicate that, indeed, uh, with respect to uh, plants and uh, birds, the diversity is, in fact, reduced. Uh, but at this, at, on the other hand, we could look at this and say, uh, we've got a now more permanent blue water view, which might enhance fisheries and commercial fisheries offshore. Uh, again, the city of Carlsbad certainly benefited by resanding their beaches, which had become increasingly cobbled. I'm assuming that translates into enhanced tourism and tourist dollars. But I suppose the real winner of this particular windfall, um, again, the city of Carlsbad, um, would be the stuff of property value because prior to uh, the 1990s when this restoration work uh, commenced, um, this was an area of uh, uh, maybe limited desirability in terms of its visuals, in terms of uh, um, the smell and uh, olfactory uh, cues. And the net result of that restoration effort is that we now have a blue water uh, view, which is more or less permanent. And the net result is that land prices around the Batiquitos Lagoon District went up astronomically. Uh, the city of Carlsbad was uh, um, successful in recruiting in a major development, that's Aviara, a major um, hotel resort, that too being Aviara, uh, the golf course, uh, the restaurants, and, of course, that all translates into property taxes, uh, building permits, um, and ongoing revenue for a city. Um, 
which is clearly a brilliant plan in terms of the economy, but maybe not so brilliant a plan in terms of the ecology, because this was a district that had been earmarked for ecological restoration, and though some of that certainly took place, um, we might look at this as um, more of an opportunity for economic uh, development as opposed to ecological development or redevelopment. And uh, I think the, the, the greater winner would have been the ongoing economy in the city of Carlsbad as opposed to the ongoing ecology of um, what was a functioning wet, dry lagoon, which um, uh, certain opportunities were met, but many, many opportunities were missed.